so no one knows what to do. They'd be like, what are you here? He'd be like, no. Welcome back to Yoga Express, your virtual stretch clinic that helps you move the body to still the mind. My name is Banu Suresh. I'm your host for this program. Josie and Heard, our director, and we have Nick Chileshi on camera. Thank you so much for the great teamwork and for making this episode happen today. Yoga Express is in the studios of Manhattan Neighborhood Network. That is where we tape these episodes as well. We also air in the other four boroughs in New York State, in Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, and Staten Island. Check out my website, www.yogaexpress.com, Y-O-G-A-X-P-R-E-S-S.com, for our taping and airing schedules. And you'll see that we are currently all over the place, hopefully all over the world, if you go online. To my immediate left, we have Sarah Torres, and there is an, an extended left. So to my left, we have Sarah Torres. Sarah, welcome back to the show. Sarah, I was thinking, with your permission, I thought we've been promising our viewers to take them through the full sequence. And usually, because we warm up in the beginning, we don't get to do that. Are you game to give that a shot, and then we'll tell our viewers a little more later and see how we feel? Sure. Sure. Okay. It would be great. Sarah, I really appreciate that you're here today despite the bad weather. Here's what we're going to do. Nick, we're going to stand up. We're going to do the full sequence. We're going to take our viewers through the complete 48-plus stretches today. If you come and stretch with us on the show, we'll give you a copy of my third title, Yoga Secrets. If you don't stretch, we'll still be there for you whenever you need us. So this is a box of... Two plus eight ailment specific cards, and I am looking for my master sheet. All right, you know what? We're going to go through the full postcard. We'll also share with you a postcard with the complete sequence. Plus, we have a fridge magnet which we will give you so there's no escape. Stick the magnet on your fridge and the postcard in your bag. Keep your Yoga Secrets book with you wherever you go. No excuses not to stretch. Palms in front of your chest, namaskaras, and elbows are raised, heels together, toes apart. Inhale, take your arms up. Hasta Uttana. Exhale, fold from the hip. Bring your heels out, the insides of your feet are parallel. Inhale, bring your palms up to shoulder height, palms are facing in. Exhale, bend at the knees. Very nice, slow breathing. Inhale, let's come up. Now we're gonna turn to face the front right of the mat. So we are looking at camera number two. Josian, that's for you. Bring your legs out about three feet apart. Put your brakes on, so bring your toes in. Once your feet are nice and secure, 
turn your right foot out. So the heel of the right foot is at a T with the inside of your left sole. Trikonasan, three is three, cone is corner. Trikon literally is triangle or three corners. Upper body faces left, inhale the arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Turn to look at the tip of your fingers on the right hand, lean a little to your right. Exhale, dip your right hand in front of your right ankle, left arm goes all the way up. Both palms face forward, look up at the raised arm and hold. And Sarah, this one's for you. Hold your posture, not your breath. You remember telling me about that <laughs> yes. class once. <laughs> Inhale, let's come up. And then we're going to take you to the other side in just a moment, but let's not turn just yet. Let's transition. Keep your right foot where it is. Exhale, bend the right knee. Veera Bhadra. Veera is brave. Bhadra is warrior. Brave warrior. Exhale and dip into Veera Bhadra Kona. Warrior angle. Kona's angle. Take your left arm all the way up and then do what Sarah's doing. Take your left arm all the way overhead. Palm faces down. Inhale. Let's come up. Both arms at shoulder height, straighten your right knee, turn your right foot in, turn the left foot up. We're going to look away from the cameras for just a moment. Look at the tip of your fingers in the left hand. Left foot is turned out. Lean a little to your left. Exhale, dip your left hand in front of your left ankle. Right arm goes all the way up. Both palms face forward. Inhale, let's come up. Trikonasan to Virabhadra. Keep your left foot where it is. Exhale, bend the left knee. Keep exhaling. Dip your left hand in front of your left ankle. From Veera Bhadra, brave warrior, warrior angle, Veera Bhadra Kona. Right arm goes all the way up and then challenge yourself. Take your right arm all the way overhead. Inhale, let's come up. Both palms at shoulder height, turn your left foot in. Exhale, bring your palms down. Wiggle your feet a little closer. Let's turn to face the front left of the mat again. That's a camera that captures us best. So actually, let's turn to face the front right of the mat so that they can pick, up, pick us up and profile. We'll stagger ourselves, that's good. Bring your feet out about six to eight inches apart. The insides of your feet are parallel to each other. This is the back bend we're talking about before we do the other one. Tiryangasan, Tiryang is reverse inversion. Place your palms on your buttocks, push your elbows back, open up your chest, your pectorals, your intercostals, everything gets a wonderful, wonderful stretch. Inhale, take your head up, move your chin up, keep inhaling. Once you get past midpoint, start exhaling, glide your palms down the back of your legs and bend your knees if you need to. Make sure you keep that connection. Do not leave your hands suspended in midair. Tilt your head back, bend your knees, and hold. Inhale, let's come up. And then we're going to do a little bit of an intense forward fold. From Tiryang Asan, Tiryang is reverse inversion. We're going to do a little bit of a forward fold. Prasarita means widespread. Padottan is feet or legs. Prasarita Padottanasana. Asana is posture. So I'm going to go this way so I don't hit Sarah. Put your brakes on both your feet, the toes uh, face inward. Inhale, take your arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead, palms facing in. Exhale and fold. Once your palms are nice and secure on the mat, bring your feet a little further out. Sarah is able to take her forehead all the way to the ground today. For me, I need a little extra help. Bring your elbows close to you. I need to bring my feet further out to feel the top of my head on the floor. Press with your palms. Wiggle your feet a little closer till it's safe to take your palms off of the floor. Palms together. Inhale, come up with a straight back. Exhale and release. Wiggle your feet a little closer. Let's turn to face the front of the mat this time. Adha Chandra. So from Prasarita Padottan, or Ugra, the school that I came from calls it Ugra. Ugra means fierce, Prasarita Padotan is widespread. Either way, it just means you need to feel a beautiful pelvic stretch. Heels together, toes apart, palms in front of your chest, elbows are raised, take your shoulders back. Now inhale, take your arms all the way up. Exhale, dip to the right. Ardha Chandra, Ardha is half, Chandra is moon. Half moon or crescent moon. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, to the left. Inhale, back to the center. 
Exhale, bring your hands in front of your chest, palms facing down, elbows are raised. And I'm shorter than you are, Sarah, so I get to come in front. We're gonna exhale, swing our right arm out, inhale back to the center, then the left arm goes out. So keep the insides of your feet parallel to each other. Do not take your hips with you the first time. Kati chakra, kati is cut off or swinging or spinning and chakra is wheel. So it's like a half spinning wheel. Exhale to the right. Inhale back to the center. Exhale to the left. Inhale back to the center. This time, take your hips with you and notice the difference. Exhale to the right. Inhale back to the center. Exhale to the left. Inhale back to the center. Exhale and release. Little bit of a balance posture, a few balance postures. Sarah, your favorites are coming up. I know the dancer is really your favorite, yeah, but a few of the, the others. Okay. The tree is okay, right? Like okay, you're gonna close your eyes. I'm gonna keep my eyes open. <laughs> Transfer your weight. No, I'm kidding. But yes, because you? I you're very comfortable in tree. That's why it's you're one of your favorites. Transfer your weight to your right leg. Vriksh is tree in Sanskrit. Turn your left knee out to the side. Place your right hand on your right hip. Inhale, lift your left foot as high as you can. Hold on to your left ankle with your left hand. Attach the sole of your left foot to the inside of your upper right thigh. If you come out of a posture, get right back in. Do not give up on yourself. When you're ready, place your palms in front of your chest. Vriksh or tree, let's make a real tree. Inhale, take your arms all the way overhead. And then if you want to separate your palms, let's do that. Now we are a palm tree. It's fanning out. Place your palms back together. Exhale and release. Very gently, let's lower the left foot. Transfer your weight to the right leg. You want to make sure you balance both sides. Left hand on the left hip. Transfer your weight to the left leg. Did I say right? Okay, I slept. Inhale, lift your right foot all the way up. Make sure your right knee is out to the side. Attach the sole of the right foot to the inside of your upper left thigh. When you're ready and confident, place your palms in front of your chest. Inhale, take your arms up, and when you're ready, look at a point in front of you that doesn't move. So I'm going to try and look at the cones, the orange cones near the camera. When you're ready, open up your palms. Palms back together, exhale, and release. Notice how when you look at a point that doesn't move, you get a little steadier. As I'm talking, it makes it a little harder, too, for both of us because of all the studio lights, but we're doing the best we can. We're trying not to fall out. We're gonna see if we can hold it a little longer in the next round. Today, it's just gonna be one after the other. Right foot in front of the left, both feet face the front of the mat. Inhale the arms all the way overhead. Take your palms all the way up. Clasp your palms together in any manner you've been trained. Lean forward, raise your left heel, Exhale, dip your torso, lift your left leg up. Keep your left foot flexed. This time we're gonna try and look at the mic in front of us. Tula Danda, balancing scales. Inhale, let's come up. And then let's switch legs. Exhale and release. Bring the left foot forward, take the right foot back. Tula is balancing and Danda is staff or stick. Both feet face the front of the mat. <clears throat> and make sure that your hip is also aligned. That'll help you balance. Lean forward, raise your right heel. Place your palms in front of your chest. Sorry about that, Sarah. I could see you were sort of prompting me with your actions. Inhale, take your arms all the way up. Exhale, dip your torso, lift your right leg. Keep your right foot flexed. Inhale. Let's come up, lower the right leg. Exhale and release. The next posture is Uttita Pada. Uttita is raised, Pada is foot. I know Sarah is gonna smack me in the face if I don't keep out of her way. So I'm gonna go, actually, you know what? I'll, no, let me stay here. Josiane will Just have my hand. That, that's it, good idea. Make your adaptations. There you go, very smart. Heels are together to, no, actually this time palms are not in front of your chest. Left hand on the left hip. Transfer your weight to the left leg. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Hold on to the right big toe. Inhale, exhale, and extend. 
And then, if you want to go further, do what Sarah's doing. Take your right leg out to the side. Thank you for being so mindful, Sarah. Exhale and release. On the other side, feel free. Go as far as you want. No one to smack over there. Transfer your weight to the right leg. Right hand on the right hip for balance. Look at a point that doesn't move. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Hold on to the left big toe. Extend, exhale, and extend. If you want to take it out to the side, challenge yourself. This is my limitation today. Inhale and exhale as you release. Very gently, take your left leg behind you. So from Utti Tapada, raised foot, keep your right hand where it is. Hold on to the left ankle from behind. Now this one is for you, uh, Nick. You were talking about this posture, right? You need to do this every time. Get a good grip on your left ankle. When you're ready, look at a point in front of you that doesn't move. Raise your right arm up. Natraj Asan, Natraj is dancer's pose. Exhale, dip your torso, lift your left knee. Look at a point that doesn't move. Nice exhale, Sarah. Inhale, let's come up. Very slow, controlled motion. Exhale and release. Transfer your weight to the left leg this time. Left hand on the left hip. Look at a point that doesn't move. Bend your right knee. Hold on to the right ankle from behind with the right hand when you're ready. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, dip your torso, lift your right knee. Inhale, let's come up. And let's not put the right foot down, just cross it right over the left leg. So try to wrap your right foot over the left calf. And if you're already there, do what Sarah's doing. Go all the way as deep down as you can. Garudasan, Garuda is eagle. Right knee is up. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, dip your left elbow over the right. Twine your palms together and hold. If you come out of a posture, get right back in. And see if you can hold it. Inhale, very gently release. I think that side of my body has had enough, so we're gonna swing to the other side. Transfer your weight to the right leg. Cross the left knee over the right. Wrap your left foot around the right calf as far as it'll go today. Left knee is up. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale. Dip your right elbow over the left. Twine your palms together. Twine your arms together so your palms touch. Inhale. Very gently release the left leg. Untangle your arms. Garuda asan, Garuda or Eagle. Inhale, bring your heels close together, toes are slightly apart. Inhale the arms all the way overhead. Clasp the opposite elbows. Once you've made that connection, wiggle your biceps behind your ears. Uttanasan, Uttan is forward fold, standing forward fold. It's also called rag doll in North America. Exhale, fold from the hip with a straight back. Let your body suspend in midair. Uttanasana, very gently lower the hands to the floor. Take the left leg back and then the right. Exhale, press your heels down, dip your, um, dip your head between your biceps. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog or parvat. The school I came from calls this parvat. Inhale, bring the right foot between the hands. Ashwa Sanchala, Ashwini is horse, Ashwa Sanchala, like a horse or equestrian. If you feel your right foot has not come as far forward as you want it to, wiggle your right foot even further to give yourself a deeper stretch. Both palms on the right knee, elbows are uh, out, exhale and dip. From Ashwa Sanchala into Parsva Kona Namaskara. Parsva is intense, Kona is twist. Namaskara is prayer, intense prayer twist. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, you might remember this part of the sun salutation yesterday. Dip your left elbow over the right knee. Place your right palm on top of the left. Look up at the raised palm, elbow and hold. When we say hold, it's always hold your posture, never your breath. Keep exhaling in every twist. You need to exhale deeper to get even deeper into the twist. Inhale. Come out of that and let's switch legs as gracefully as we can. Take your right leg back, bring the left foot forward. Parsva Kona Namaskara, intense prayer twist. Left knee is up, 
both palms on the left knee. Exhale and dip. Inhale, the right arm up. Sarah, it's okay. Curl your toes in. Finita. Oh, I can balance on this side. That's what I was saying. It depends. <laughs> we were talking about the tightness of the body. Right. I think, it, okay. That, so you're okay on this side, right? Yeah. Okay. But you made a good point yesterday. Exhale, dip your right elbow over the left knee. Place your left palm on top of the right. Turn to look at the raised elbow and hold. Keep breathing. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale. Let's come out of that and let's come on all fours. Take the right leg back. Knees directly below your hips. Palms directly below your shoulders. Fingers are nicely splayed. Your toes are curled in. Marjaria or cat. We're going to inhale. Dip the torso. Lift the chest, chin and buttocks up. And then as we exhale, we'll arch the back. Inhale and dip. Exhale, uncurl your toes, arch your back. One more time to redeem ourselves. Curl your toes in. Inhale and dip. Uncurl your toes, arch your back. Josian, this is for you. Josian has a lot of cats and she loves this posture, so we dedicate this posture to you, Josian. Bring your knees closer to your uh, palms, and then let's come up on our knees. Ustras, and Sarah and I are gonna face the front right of the mat. So Josian's camera number two, the robotic camera, can pick us up in profile. Bring your knees about hip width apart. If you're very confident of your balance in this posture, you can bring your knees closer. I like to keep it at hip width. If you're really tired, you can bring your knees further apart. But this is probably the most neutral. It's a good way to keep it. Now, if you wanna curl your toes in, your hands are closer to your heels. But as we grow older, the knees feel more pressure with the toes curled in, so I'm gonna keep my feet, the tops of my feet flat. Ustra or camel, place both your palms on your buttocks, push your shoulders back, so open up your pectorals, your intercostals, open up your chest muscles. Inhale, lift your chin up. Keep inhaling, when you come to midpoint, start exhaling, glide your palms down the back of your thighs. Right hand reaches for the right heel, Left hand reaches for the left heel once you've made that connection. Tilt your head back, tilt your pelvis forward and hold. Inhale, palms back on your buttocks, very gently. Let's come up and let's sit on our heels. We're gonna to continue to face this side of the mat. Sit on your heels. We're gonna take you through a posture called Supta Vajra. Supta is supine, Vajra or Vaira is diamond. Very gently lower the right elbow and then the left to the ground, make adjustments, adjust yourself as you sit on your heels, and then take both the elbows down, tilt your head back, resist the temptation to lift your knees, supta vajra supine, diamond vajra vajra is diamond, inhale, press with your palms, let's come up, when you lift your knees, there's more pressure on your ankles, Sarah, don't go to sleep on me, inhale the arms up to shoulder height palms facing down keep inhaling take your arms all the way overhead palms facing in clasp your palms together in any manner you've been trained to do exhale and fold we're going to try and move a little faster rabbit or shashank inhale let's come up exhale and release we have apparently we have about five minutes so let's see if we can beat the clock today Tuck your left heel under your right buttock, cross your right foot over the left knee. Right foot is flat, sole of the right foot is flat. Ardha Matsyendra, Ardha is half, Mats is fish, Matsyendra, Lord of the Fishes, half spinal twist or half Lord of the Fishes. Put your right, push your right knee in, torque your upper body to the right. Now hold on to your right knee with your right hand, inhale the left arm up. Watch Sarah closely, she's gonna get herself in a bind. Lower your left elbow over your right knee. And then I'm gonna help myself hold on to your left knee or to any part of your garment on the side. Take your right hand behind you and turn to look back. If you can do the bind like Sarah does, feel free. That's how she gets her full stretch. That's what you wanna do. You wanna do the best you can any given day. Inhale, release your hands first, and let's switch legs. Tuck your right heel under the left buttock, cross your left foot over the right knee. Josiane, I hope we can keep the cameras rolling. I know we have only four minutes left, but we're gonna try and finish it. Let's see how lucky we are. 
Left foot flat beside the right knee. Push your left knee in. Torque your upper body to the left. Hold on to the left knee with the left hand. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale. Dip your right elbow over your left knee. Hold on to your right knee or any part of your garment. Take the right, left hand behind you. Turn to look back. Or get your hands in a bind the way Sarah has it. Inhale. Release the hands first. Extend the left leg out. Keep the right knee bent, but keep the right foot fl uh, flat and close to the inside of the upper left thigh. Hold on to the right ankle with the left hand. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale, wrap your right hand around your right knee. And then take your left hand from behind, clasp the opposite fingers. Once you've made that connection, turn to look over your right shoulder. Take the left shoulder back. Inhale, release. Extend your right leg out, fold the left leg in, hold on to the left ankle, Marich Asan. This posture is called Marich or Ray of Light, well, also the name of a sage. Hold on to your left ankle with your right hand. Bring your left knee out to the side a little. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, wrap your left arm around your left knee. Take your right hand from behind, clasp the opposite fingers. Look over your left shoulder and move your right shoulder out to the side. Very nice. Inhale and release. Keep your right leg extended. Let's release the arms. Janu Sirsha, right foot is flexed. Left knee comes down all the way. Attach the sole of the left foot to the inside of the upper right thigh. Turn to face the extended leg. Inhale your arms up. Keep going all the way up. Clasp your palms together. Exhale, fold from the hip. Janu Sirsha, head to knee. Janu is knee, Sirsha is head. Clasp the soles of your feet or wherever your hands take you today. Pull your body forward. Keep exhaling. Inhale. Come up. Exhale and release. And let's switch legs. Fold the right leg in. Extend the left leg out. Sole of the right foot attaches itself to the inside of the upper left thigh. Flex the left foot. Right knee to the ground. Turn to face the extended leg. Inhale the arms up all the way overhead, clasp your palms together, exhale and fold. Janu Sirsha, hold on to the soles of your feet or your toes wherever your hand takes you today. Inhale, come up, keep your arms where they are, extend the right leg out, flex both your feet, Paschimottanasan, bird beak or east facing, exhale and fold. One of these days when I get my breath back I'll tell you what that means. <laughs> or uh, rather I'd say why it's called east facing exhale place your palms over the soles of your feet pull your body forward inhale let's come up exhale and release tuck your left heel under your right buttock titles are rolling maybe we'll get these seated postures in cross your left foot over the le uh, right foot over the left knee both soles soles of both your feet face the back of the room Right knee is up, inhale the left arm up. Exhale, dip your left hand behind the base of your neck. Take your right hand from behind, clasp the opposite fingers. Once you've made that connection, lift your chin up, open up your shoulders, and open up your chest. Inhale, and release. Josiane, let's at least finish the seated postures. Switch legs, tuck the right heel under the left buttock. Please keep the cameras rolling. Nick, we'll finish the seated ones. Cross the left foot over the right knee. One of these days, we're going to do the whole sequence. We've been promising people we're almost there. Both soles face the back of the room. Left knee is up. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale, dip your right hand behind the base of your neck. Take your left hand from behind. Gomukha asan. Gomukha is cow face. When the knees align one on top of the other, it's supposed to resemble face of a cow. I have no idea why, but